Hello, my name is Francesco Bartolotta on Instagram Bart the Grappler and today I would like to show how to escape mount. So there is a misconception that when somebody is mounting you or is pinning you on the floor, it is just about strength and pressure and, uh, and weight. That, that is true to a certain degree. The keynote of pinning somebody on the floor is wedges. So let's have a look and let's make an example. If I have any of mine, His wedges around my body are supposed to be his knees, around my ribs, and his feet around my butt. And in the worst cases, he has also a head and arm where he creates a wedge around my shoulders and head, and now I'm completely peeled on, on the floor. So if I try to push, it's very hard. But if Alice relies entirely on his weight, and he opens all the wedges, and the wedges are open, I can lift him up, pretty easily and get free. So what is that hold somebody on top of you when they're pinning you are wedges because it's like they are attaching themselves to you. So if you try to push against gravity, you're also pushing against the wedges that are behind you. So our job for us to escape from a pin is not to push. You should never push, but the first thing you should look at is to disrupt the wedges. Okay, so let's look at the final position we want to be in. First of all, we don't want our opponent to have all his weight on top of his hips. So we can use our knees to push somebody forward and pull weight on the hand. Okay, then another thing that we want as a final position is to disrupt the wedge of the knee with an elbow and of the foot, bringing our leg flat on the floor so that it cannot bring the foot under my butt anymore and therefore it cannot create a wedge. So when you have all these things, you have weight on his hands, you have a knee inside, you have an elbow inside his knee, and also a forearm around his, uh, um, across his waist, and there's no foot under your, butt, under your butt, you can easily lift somebody up and take him off you, okay? So, let's see how we should do it. Um, if my opponent has all his weight um, on top of his hip, the first thing I want to do, I always want to push him up with my knees, okay? And at the same time, I want to move my torso to one side so that I can make space for my elbow to get inside the knee. If the knee is very, is very tight, again, I create space and I go on top of the thigh, almost to his pocket, so that I can create space. And then I can bring my forearm across. Now at this point, the problem is his feet. If I don't take his feet, uh, if I don't take his feet apart, uh, even if I push from this position now, his, his arm, because his wedge around my butt are holding him to, onto me. So at this point, what I need to do is I need to bring my foot on top of his foot. I'm gonna push that foot away, and I'm gonna replace the space with my back, flat on the floor so that he cannot go on, on, uh, under my leg anymore and therefore attach himself to me. At this point, again, I pull weight on his hands to make his hip light, and I will use my two frames here to push him up and create space for my legs to go back in. Now, this is one of the best case scenarios where you can escape mount. The worst one is when somebody gets an underhook and start extending your arm. Now, um, everybody from here uh, make the mistake of trying to resist the, the extension. What I do, I, I don't resist the extension too much. I will bring, I will go with the extension and as he extends my arm, I will bring my hand inside and under his armpit. What that does, first of all, he cannot choke me. If he brings his head on the other side of my elbow and tries to choke me from here, there is the forearm separating his arm from my artery. So he cannot chop me. Um, and, and plus, what it gives me, it gives me a frame in front of his neck. So from here, the first thing I should do, I should get rid of the wedge on the upper body. So what I will do, as I push into his neck, once my, arm, my hand is under his armpit, I will bring the other hand inside, I will present it to my face. And from here, I finger walk to drag his arm up with me. Once my hand is out, I keep the arm away from me, and I'm going to slide my elbow in front of his uh, uh, waist. 
but at the same time, I already start to look to bring my other elbow inside the wedge. And now I have created two frames and I'm disrupting his wedge. Now, finally, I have to open his feet. So I'm gonna use my right foot to push on one foot and bring my leg on the floor so that if he tries to go under my leg again, he can. Now again, I wanna put weight in his hands with my knee and I wanna make his waist light. And from there, once I'm ready, as I push him up with the knee, I push him away with the hand, and now we can learn to let that out and just escape and start to play down again. Now, sometimes it happens that I am in my position, but his feet are very tight together, and I cannot use my foot to push it away. So what I do, I use vibration to cut through his feet. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna go to one side and I'm gonna bring my leg in the middle of his foot and I'm gonna move his leg so. So I cut through his feet. And now from here again, I have two frames inside. I have one knee behind his butt and I can use those to make space. Because again, there's no any more wedges around my, my, my body. Another escape that you can do, uh, of course, in all of these, you're going to grip fight. So the grip fighting is trying to pin my arm. I cannot allow that. And I cannot allow myself to have open arms, otherwise he can attack me. So once I bring him down, and I have my friend inside his wedges, I again, I open his foot, I bring my leg in front of his leg, and this time, instead of pushing, what I can do is to collect his foot, load it onto my leg, and now from here, I have like a, a scissor motion around his shin. So I'm gonna turn my hip on the other side and his knee will come off the floor. And from there, I, I post on the knee to stop it and I can bring my own leg in front of his knee. I open the other knee and I'm back into an off line. So I'm gonna show now a few escapes. So let's start with um, an under. He's gonna try to extend me. I'm gonna bring my hand inside his armpit and that creates a frame. I'm gonna use the frame to bring my hand inside and finger walk. Once I have that, I'm gonna slide my elbow down in front of his waist and I'm gonna look for inside position with my left elbow into his knee. Now I have two frames, but he still has his feet around my, my, my butt. So I need to push one foot away and replace the space with my knee. Now I turn a little bit on the side, and when I'm ready, I push him up with my knee to make his waist light, and then push him away, and get to uh, let, uh, let the top. Another way, he has another loop again, I go under his armpit, I cross face, cross face, cross face, cross face, go him, if his feet are too tight, instead of using my feet to push, I go with the leg and I break it. And now from here, I can push him up. And I can collect his leg and push him away. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned from it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. More videos to come.